I'm gonna tell you guys the story time of the time that I worked for Roblox Group and they then proceeded to try and screw me over and get me to do free advertisement for their Roblox Group when I never agreed to do that. Hey testies and welcome back to your video. Before I get started this mission for Trinity, now I wanna clarify, this video is not about Trinity. Trinity was super friendly. I just feel like I need to clarify that because sometimes people get confused. This video is not about this commission, okay? And second of all, if you guys wanna get your GFX YouTube money in my videos, make sure to order the description. I offer USD payment or Robux payment, but Robux payment videos and stuff like that aren't featured on my channel. It's just the USD ones. Anyways, so basically this happened about five weeks ago, so it's been just over a month. Um, but I actually got an email from a Roblox group. Now this is not like a particularly like famous Roblox group or like super well known or anything like that, but they had like a decent sized group. It was like about 2,000, 3,000 members. So they had quite a few members, right? It basically sent me an email saying, hey, we would really like to get an updated group icon for a Roblox group wearing our group's clothing. Do you think you can do this for us? Here's our budget, blah, blah, blah. And basically their budget was a little bit less than, you know, what I typically do. And they want to pay with Robux, which at the time I wasn't doing it. I didn't really like doing that. But I thought, oh, well, maybe I can just use it for a giveaway or something, so I might as well do it. So I sent them an email back. I'm like, hey, can you send me all the information? Then we can organize payment, stuff like that. And they're like, yeah, for sure. And they're super, super friendly, okay? Which is, that's awesome. That's great. I appreciate when people are friendly, right? But it was to a point where they're almost too friendly. You know, like when people try a little bit too hard, you can tell like, mm, something's off here. Like, you're gonna try to ask me to do something or something like that. Like, I could just kind of tell that they were trying to be super nice to me to get me to do something for them, which obviously like from the get-go made me feel kind of uneasy. Like, just as an example, like, they would take maybe five minutes to respond back to my email after taking me, like, eight hours to respond to them because I'm not on my computer all day. And they'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for the for the slow response. I'm like, it's been five minutes. It's not slow. But it was just, like, the overly apologetic. I was like, okay, like, you're going to try and, like, guilt trip me later, I'm sure. And I was right. So, you know what? I'll take it. Now, basically what happens is they pay me for the commission. They pay me the rate that we agreed on. And because they're using it, they want to use it in like stickers and like they want to sell it on things. I charge the different rate than I normally would. But basically we agreed on the rate. They paid it. I did the GFX. They said, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I love it. Like they were very clear over email, but they liked it. And that's why typically when I do any commissions, if it's not through Kofi, it has to be through email because that way, like you can't change your email afterwards. I've had clients who will say they like a commission and then I'll be like, okay, thanks so much for your order, blah, blah, blah. And then like five days later, I'll be like, um, actually, I don't like it anymore. Can you change it? Blah, blah, blah. No. So if I do it through email, that way, like I can track people saying that like what they actually said and they can't just go back and delete their messages, if that makes sense. And so everything was fine. I thought it was fine because they said they liked it and they used the group back. And I'm like, cool, awesome, whatever. Then a couple days later, I'd say like three days later, I get another email from their team. And the email, I'm not going to read exactly what it said because I don't want to get like privacy striked, but basically the just the email was, hey Toast, like, hope we're doing well, blah, blah, blah. I'm um, just wondering when the GFX is going to be posted. And so obviously that's like a decent question to ask. Um, but if you go to my Kofi right now, you can see like this speed GFX, like this one that I'm showing you guys right now on the screen. There's not a date on this, but it says it was 26 days ago. So this one I finished almost a month ago. And so my GFX like, queue to be in a video is almost a month long. That is like, of course I might post like maybe two GFX a day or I might do more story times, but it just depends on how many videos I post that determines how long it takes for your GFX to be in a video. And also to clarify, something I've clarified routinely is in my terms of service, I say like I have the right to refuse to put your GFX in a video if I feel like it. Like nine times out of 10, if a client is amazing and kind and super easy to work with, yeah, of course I'm gonna put it in a video because it benefits both you and me. It gives you a shout out and it gives me something to talk about like on top of, right? At the same time though, if you're gonna be rude to me or dismissive or nasty or like changing a bunch of details and just being a pain to work with, I'm not gonna put your GFX in a video. That doesn't make sense, you know? So that was kind of like the logic behind it, I guess you call it. Basically, they're like messaging me, asking me like when it's gonna be in a video. And so I responded like really politely like, hey, um, you know, um, it's actually gonna take like about a month here because the queue is pretty long at this time. There's about like 26 other GFXs before yours to be featured in a video. So just so you know, I can always email you when it's up if you'd like that, whatever. Now, sometimes I will message my clients be like, hey, your speed GFX is posted because I used to tag people in my speed GFXs, but then a bunch of the YouTubes weren't working. It just became like a gong show trying to tag people and they'd be like, oh, well actually, can you change the tag? No, like it was just like a whole, like it became so much extra work. So I just stopped doing that. And normally I just put like their first name in the video or like the name that they use on Kofi, obviously, because I'm about to like share someone's personal information. Um, but basically that's usually what I do now. The other thing though was this person responds or like the person that represented the group, I guess. I don't know, they call themselves the group manager. So I don't know if that means like they're the owner or what's going on there, but they respond to my email they're like, okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Here's a draft of the script we've created for you for the video. Whoa there, wait a second. Script? If you guys don't know this, I don't use a script in any of my videos. I literally sit down at my desk, I drink caffeine so I can talk quickly, and I just start yapping, and then if I say something too out of pocket or that's not PG-13, I just delete the clip and re-record it. I've never scripted a video in my day in my life, and even when I was in school and was trying to like read off scripts, I would sound like an idiot, okay? So I, I will never be doing that. 
But anyways, basically they sent me this like lengthy script. And again, I can't read it word for word because I don't want to get privacy claimed. But the script basically said like, Hey Toasties, I found the best Roblox group on Roblox. And do you guys want to get cheap and affordable, unique, one-of-a-kind clothing? You should go to this Roblox group because this is where I get all of my clothing and I've never shopped anywhere else. And basically, the script was me inflating their Roblox group and then lying. And saying it's the only group I've ever purchased from. It's my favorite group on the platform. It's th Their clothing's amazing and no other group's as good as them. It was like a very like favorable thing for me to say for their group, but it was untrue. And that's something I don't like about sponsorships is that I found a lot of the time when I get sponsorship requests from certain websites or apps or like people in general, they want me to lie. And I'm not gonna lie because like you don't have to be morally bankrupt to make money, you know? This whole script is basically just me apparently supposed to hyping them up and like lying about my experience with them. To be honest, I have never bought a single thing of their clothing. And after like checking afterwards, I found that a bunch of their clothing was made using a template. Like it's like one of those apps where you make like Robux clothing and you just drag and drop colors. Like it was literally templates from that app made by other people that they'd slightly edited and put like different like textures and like stickers on top of. Like girl, that's not original clothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Like the skeleton sweater in my group, the brown one and green one, that's from the template app. Like I used it on a template app that wasn't made by me. But they also say that you can use that stuff if you want to, but then you can't claim that it's original. You can't go around and be like, Oh my god, guys, like, our clothing's so original, we're amazing! And then, you're lying, like, what are you doing? And so I send an email back, I'm like, hey, like, I'm not really sure, like, what your impression is, like, I think there's been a miscommunication, but this isn't, like, a sponsorship, I'm not, like, advertising your group, I'm, and I also don't, I never read off the script, so I'm not doing that. I'm gonna, I'm happy to put, like, your GFX in a video and say, hey guys, it's a GFX for this group, blah blah blah, but this isn't, like, a sponsored or paid for ad or anything like that, like, I'm not gonna read off, like, a script and be like, the side effects of this medication are death, cancer, blah blah blah, like, like, it's, it's giving that. Like, why would I just, like, ramble on about how much I love this group that I've never shopped at in my entire life? Do they have cute clothes? Yes. But is it the only group I shop at? No. Is it my favorite group? No. Do I only buy from them? No. Like, I'm not gonna lie to inflate the ego of your Roblox group. That doesn't make sense. Basically, the community manager immediately switch up, switches up, sorry, and, like, sends me, like, an email. It's like, um, well, I just think it's, like, really disrespectful that you wouldn't support a local business that ordered from you. Small businesses should support other small businesses. Yes, small businesses can support other small businesses, but what we had was a transaction that you entered into on your own will and said, hey, I want to order this from you. You got your part of the transaction. We helped each other out. I did something for you and you gave me money. But that doesn't mean now I do an extra thing for you for free because the cost of what you paid me to do doesn't cover the cost of me, one, lying, and two, doing a sponsorship for your group that I never agreed to do. Like, what is going on here? And so at this point, I'm trying to keep my cool, but you guys, you guys are always like, oh my god, tell us to handle this so maturely. Well, a lot of the time, I just want to like ring people out and swear at them, to be honest, but I can't do that because they're going to post something, guys, toast are being swore at me. Like, it's going to become this whole thing if I do that. So I have to bite my tongue a lot of the time, but um, I responded and tried to be very professional. I was like, you know what? Like, I'm, I'm sorry under that impression, but we did not agree to me doing a free sponsorship. Like, literally just free promo for your group. I didn't agree to that. I feel really uncomfortable with you trying to pressure me into doing that and trying to guilt trip me and saying that you did me a favor by ordering from me. Like, I didn't give you your end of the deal. I gave you your end of the deal. I did what you asked me to do. I don't know. Owe you extra things on top of that. Like, what? It was just so dumb. And so I just responded saying that. And I said, you know what? Honestly, I'm just really uncomfortable with how this conversation has gone. I'm not going to be posting your GFX at all now. Like, this is just very bizarre to me. I don't really like that you're saying your work is original when it's not. It's very obviously taken from a template app. And you're saying your stuff is made all by hand when it's in fact not and i've seen that apparently there's allegations that you've been copying other groups clothing and stealing their clothing assets like this whole thing was so messy to the point where i'm like please don't credit me in your group's description i don't want to be associated with your group use the gfx however you like you pay for that that's yours now but i don't want to be attached to this in any way shape or form anyways um long story short they never responded to me go figure i wouldn't respond to me either if i just got like a whipping of reality like the um but it was just very weird like why do you think you're entitled to free advertisement from me especially if you're trying to get me to lie like girl like come on now like that's just so silly anyways long story short i hope that they pursue more honest business practices in the future they're probably a kid so they don't know better so hopefully they learn about like being like morally correct and not morally bankrupt but that's just my opinion as are all my videos. But anyways, with that being said, if you guys made this from video, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.